time imaging. If you're new to my channel then welcome, I make plant related videos every Friday and if you've been here before then welcome back. I had some time off work over the Christmas and New Year period and ever since going back to work I've kind of neglected my plants. So in this video I'm gonna do what I probably should have done about two weeks ago and check on all my plants, remove any dead leaves, water and fertilise if they need them and also sort of generally tidy up my plant area because I can see it there and it just looks a mess. So carry on watching if you'd like to see that. Okay so this is what we're working with currently so I'm gonna tidy up these kind of plants, put my tools back in the right place and my soil and stuff. So next to my IKEA greenhouse cabinet I have this kind of little metal trolley which is where I saw all of my soil and supplies at the bottom and then have some more plants on top with a grow light just on them. I think most of these are fine. I do tend to notice if these are wilting so I do give them water every now and again but the same cannot be said for inside my greenhouse cabinet where I shamefully have just noticed how terrible the polka dot plants are looking as well as my bambino arrow and probably some other plants if I go in there so I'm going to tidy up those. Okay where to start? Let's go with polka dot plant. These are all really dehydrated so I think I'm just going to chop it off properly because it was looking a bit stringy anyway and I do have some nice new growth at the bottom so I'm just going to go for it. Okay so clearly they're still not happy but hopefully they'll perk up with a bit of water. As for my other polka dot plant I feel like this one might have bit in the dust. Again I do have some new growth down here but it's nothing to the size of the other one but I think the best thing to do is just going to be to again chop it all off These do grow quite fast and they're quite cheap generally so I'm not too fussed but I really should have kept an eye on them so it didn't get to this stage. But again I'll water this and keep an eye on them and hopefully they'll grow nice and tall again. Next is my Alocasia Bambino Arrow. Now a couple of these leaves were already on the way out but unfortunately I think a few of the newer ones have been affected by the underwatering as well so there's nothing much to do apart from cut them all off again. I know this leaf is a goner but it's really beautiful it's got a gorgeous maroony colour and then fading into the kind of yellow crispiness but it looks really pretty. Okay so my Alocasia Bambino is now a sorry looking three leaf plant and this was a bit more expensive so I really hope it doesn't lose any more leaves and again I'll give it a water and a mist. The soil does feel a bit compacted actually so I'm just going to sort of try and aerate that a little bit. There we go, that's a bit better and should absorb the water better into the soil. Finally I've got my Alocasia Red Secret or Alocasia Cupria. Thankfully this is a bit bigger so it doesn't seem to have had as worse a time of it with the underwatering. Okay, we've got one leaf which is probably already going and then this one's looking a bit sad but I think I'll just cut off this one and I hope for the best with that other one. Okay and then I'm again going to aerate the soil a little bit. So I'm just basically sticking a chopstick in there. That one wasn't so compacted so I didn't need to do it very much. While I've got some of my plants out of the cabinet I'm actually just going to take the rest out and give the cabinet a clean. I 
obviously don't want to put really harsh chemicals in my greenhouse cabinet so I'm just using this Ecovert green cleaner and then I've got a damp microfiber cloth that I'm just going to buff that in to clean up this bottom part. While I'm here I'm also just going to clean off the top bit of my humidifier before I refill it. Now I'm just going to rinse this out. And now I'm just going to put the humidifier and all of my plants back in. So no new leaves on my anthurium but I think that might be a flower. I'm just going to aerate this and water it. And these are the rest of the plants that usually live in my cabinet. So obviously the three at the back I have already tidied up and watered so I'm just going to go around these other ones and see if they need anything doing. A couple of dead leaves on my syngonia, or maybe just the one uh, dead leaf actually. But we've got lots of new growth coming, all of these cute little teeny pink and green leaves, which is nice. In fact, this one does have a root coming out of the bottom, so I might repop this at some time soon because they are quite cramped in there. Next is my Calathea Beauty Star. This leaf doesn't look so great so I might just cut it off completely. Oh and a couple of holes in that leaf as well. Um, which is strange, I don't know where that's from. And that leaf is gone. Next is Petonia. It could probably actually do with a little bit more soil, so I'm just going to top that up. And then time to check on the other Petonias. Oh, this does have a little bit of a stem. The soil that this is in is quite wet so I might actually keep this to one side and possibly repot it. That one feels fine though other than a few dead leaves. And my aluminium plant is still <laughs> fairly leggy and I should probably cut it back again but but for now I'll just leave it as is. I did have this peperomia leaf propagating but it's a goner now so I won't be putting that back in. And then my alocasia black velvet, I'm just going to cut off the dried part um, but yeah otherwise I think that one's fine as well and now I'll put them back in their rightful places and now I'm just gonna switch back on my humidifier and the lights and all of that I feel like my camera's going to run out of charge soon and this video is probably already really long so I'm going to end it now. 
and say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!